Hey guys, it's Kyle, and a cool new tweak has come out from Cydia. Uh, the application's called Infinidoc, and it's a paid application in Cydia, available for free via the repo Be Your iPhone. And uh, it's pretty simple to use, uh, drag and drop, and uh, it does this. So as you can see, I have settings, ISMS, phone, mail, and iPod, but what it does is makes your dock scrollable. So as you can see I'm able to scroll through applications. So I also have uh, Safari, Cydia, and uh, a few categories. Now um, all you need to do to set this up is simply drag the icons into the dock. They are not replicated on the springboard up here. They are permanently put into the dock. Um, only thing that I can say is that when you're trying to add them uh, for some reason the application takes sort of like a snapshot of the icon and uh, when you put things to the left of the icon it becomes shifted. I'll go ahead and show you an example of that. I'm going to try to move notes, get, uh, get it going here, and uh, I'll move notes into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Things get pretty messy. So now I've dragged notes in there and as you can see when I hit home to set all the icons there is this sort of uh, shadow of uh, the previous icons and so if I were to go ahead and uh, drag that back out and put it back where it goes and press home it's back to normal now if you want to add things to the left no problem all you need to do is respring and then those uh, images will go away but if you need to put uh, you know icons into the left it's kind of a tedious ordeal so that's the uh, basic UI element we're gonna go ahead and go into settings and there is a bit of uh, basically a bit of uh, personal preference for the uh, Infinidoc. So you're going to go in and uh, there it is right there, Infinidoc, right there. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And uh, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Scroll enabled means you're enabling scrolling, obviously. And then icons per page, you can have all the way up to 10. Now, it depends on how small your icons can get. I personally have had a six icon dock with the Abeo theme, A-B-E-O, um, and that one looks pretty nice, but five works well with the glass car theme, which is what I have right now. Uh, but it's all a matter of preference. If you have larger icons, obviously you'd use from the, you know, three to four, or maybe even one or two, depending. But um, basically what it, sh it means is that you're going to be having each icon would take up a page. So if you were to have one set, and I think I'll go ahead and hit that, it means that the icons would be spaced as such that you'd only see one on one page of your, uh, your doc. So we're going to go ahead and check that. And uh, I believe it will respring. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and mute you back here after a respring. Alright, so we're back. And as you can see, we have it now set on one app per page. And so there's settings right here. And if we slide left, we'll see that all the icons are still here. Although, let's get out of wave and load. Uh, you can, all the icons are still here, it's just you need to scroll a very, very long way to get to the end. But uh, it's all a matter of preference, obviously. Uh, you can have them as squished or as separate as you like. But I think that's all. Uh, this has been a quick overview of Infinidoc, available in City Store or Repo, be your iPhone. I'll have the uh, free repo in the description as always. Uh, but this has been Kyle. For Mission Start, thank you for watching.